single right here. Yeah, I don't recommend doing this if you are duck or goose hunting by any means. Yo! What up, y'all, and welcome back to another one. Oh, pumped to be out here. I truly, truly am. Today is a hunt that I have been wanting to do for so, so long. Y'all know I love my pigeon hunting, and here we are. Yep, small spread today, extremely tight, one mojo. Y'all have been here with me, the old horse pasture. Big shout out to Sam the farmer for letting me out here yet again. And with pigeons, it's not like waterfowl hunting. There's like no rules. So that's why we can bait for pigeons. And that's why we can use today's weapon of choice. And that is a nine millimeter slash 410 Derringer single shot pistol. I got it right over there. Don't worry, I'll show you. Awesome story behind the gun. You'll, you'll love that and limited ammunition today and i have a reason why but i'm gonna continue to spread this just a bit hopefully them birds can see all this juicy loveliness of buffet action before them oh but here she is ladies and gentlemen yes uh big shout out to p diddy y'all know who that is look at that beauty brand freaking new Ooh, this is a Bond Arms, Granbury, Texas. Single shot, rough and rowdy, 45 Colt, two and a half inch 410. Check that guy out. Now, why I say big shout out to P Diddy because uh, P Diddy bought me this. Y'all know Preston, he helps me film all the time during the busy waterfowl hunting guided season, right? Well, his wedding is this coming weekend, and this is what he got all of us that are a part of his wedding. A cool old school uh, Habano cigars box cut out to fit a cigar cutter, uh, two nine mil, and then two two and a half inch 410. Now the bad thing about today, guys, I have five shots. I have these two here, one, Two, these are two and a half inch, half ounce, seven and a half shot. So that will work. Check out how this little guy works. So you would think it breaks this way. Oh no, it breaks that way. Yeah. But the cool thing is, is I believe you can load two at a time, which is just wild to me. I have not shot this yet. I have not had enough ammunition to shoot it. This is all I found on my shelf. Uh, three, these are Remington two and a half inch, 1300 feet per second, just a little better than these I would, I would suppose, but three in the box. I went to Walmart, I went to Dunham's, I went to local sporting goods stores, Orishland, TSC, everywhere, and could not find any more two and a half inch shells. There she is. Two 410 shells in there. Some of the guys shot it at uh, Preston's bachelor party and it looked like it kicked like an absolute mule. I'm gonna wear the GoPro and we're gonna find out. Okay, there's the safety button. I've never shot it. I wish I could have before this hunt, but again, with only having five shots, I was like, you better conserve. I did find some shells online for sale though and I bought a case, so we got more of these videos coming. If you're new to the channel, I do some pretty awesome pigeon hunts. Uh, with pigeon hunts, like I said, here in Kansas, you need to check your state's regulations and make sure that there is not a season and that you can use no plugs, you know, basically no rules because they are an invasive species here in Kansas, just like starlings. Number two, if you haven't checked out the Ducks Waterfowl Shirt of the Month, here it is for this month. $14.99 a month when you subscribe to the Ducks T-Shirt of the Month. And not only is it cheap, but you get one T-Shirt that's in a one-off design just for the Ducks T-Shirt of the Month. And it's in your mailbox, basically the same day every month. You are not gonna find any of these dope waterfowl designs on the shelves, y'all. I will link the T-Shirt of the Month down at the top of the description below. Go sign up, you will not be disappointed. I'm not gonna cock it until I'm ready. Uh, I scouted this morning out here and didn't see one pigeon. 
So what I'm thinking is if they do fly out this way, I have hunted them a few times out here. But if they do fly out this way, we don't need very many because we only have five shells for the old rough and rowdy. Again, this is a rough and rowdy 45 Colt made by Bonds, Bond Arms, Granbury, Texas. Check them out. Pretty cool little deal. Thanks again, OP Did. This is all new for me. So, y'all are here with me. The pattern is going to be absolute garbage in this thing. Um, y'all seen, I don't know, a few years ago when I used uh, a Contender 410, which the Contender is about that long. Not like that. So, I will be extremely pumped if we can get one on the ground, but the likelihood is very, very low. <laughs> Smash the thumbs up, y'all. Let's get going here. Thank you all for being here. Subscribe if you haven't. If you are new to the channel, check out some of the new pigeon hunts, the silencer hunts. I've been trying to do them all for you. Ooh, here comes a single. Oh, yeah. All right, we're locked and loaded, boys. Safety's off. Oh, dang, I pulled the trigger and it didn't go off. So I'm guessing I cock it again. Oh, I was right on him. That was extremely loud. Oh my God. So I look at the, the oh. Huh. Huh. That was exhilarating. What the? So I pulled the trigger and it just wouldn't go. So I kept pulling and kept pulling. It finally went. Boy, when I first tried to pull that trigger, I could have got him. I have no idea how that just patterned. <laughs> oh my god, that was terrifying. That was so loud. <laughs> oh gosh. Man, he was right there, dude. Alright, we gotta check this thing out. Uh, let's see if we can open her up. Okay, the bottom one went. Okay, so just trying to figure this gun out here. Honestly. Holy cow. I gotta leave my goofy looking camera on my head at all times because just like that three pack, they come out of nowhere. Oh man, that trigger was insanely tough to pull, first of all, number one. That's shot number one. So now I know I need to grip the trigger lower. I have huge fingers, really fat fingers, and they fit in there not so well. Uh, now we know. Okay. Let's load her back up. We are on safety. I'm not going to pull the hammer back. So what I'm guessing, you pull the hammer back. This is one thing about a new gun, guys. Um, be safe. Learn it before you think you know it. So we are empty. I'm going to go ahead and see if it fires without cocking it again. No. Okay. Okay. So you have to cock it again. It goes bottom barrel recock it top barrel now we know so learn your guns before you think you know them. tip number uno now this uh remington shell it is a two and a half as well uh but as you can tell check this out i gotta hurry up before there's more pigeons showing up here that bird was literally on my face so check that out this remington i fired this just a minute ago this is a high brass shell. It's gonna shoot a lot better. We're gonna have more velocity and distance since we're dealing with such a stubby barrel. But that was freaking awesome. You guys gotta smash a thumbs up. That was wild, not gonna lie. There we are. And we're gonna wait to pull back the hammer, like I said, and stay safe about it. <laughs> Blah! Felt like it was gonna fly out of my freaking hand, man. Here we go. Four pack. Come on, baby, come on. We can do this, we can do this. Um, I know how hard this is. Um, the last time I tried with that contender, it, it felt darn near impossible. But I believe in myself. I love a good challenge. 
I love this. This is the funnest I can have here on the videos, here on the channel with y'all. This is fun to me. Y'all want to know. You, always, you guys always ask Bob what type of videos you like doing the most. I love my duck hunts, my river duck hunts. But this, this is fun. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, that is so hard. I gotta come over the top. Oh, that's so, dude, I can't pull the freaking trigger. They're coming back right here. That is so hard to pull that trigger. Ah, oh, dang it. Ah, oh, that's so hard. Well, there's, I got two shells left, ladies and gents. Darn it, man. That is extremely hard. Oh, I do have some good news though. I'm shaking. I'm just out here shaking like a limb. Oh, that's so tough. Like, pulling this trigger is so hard. If y'all have one of these, y'all know what I'm talking about. Um, this trigger right there. Oh, out front, out front, boys. Two pack. Oh, wow. And these Remington shells, they are a high brass, like I showed you earlier. Those things kick. Whoa, up top, up top. Man, these are gonna decoy, come on, baby. I gotta get them really close. It's a lot of waiting. Two shells left. Here they come on the left. Here they come. Come on in here, come on. You know you want in here. Come on. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh, look, I thought I feathered him. That is so incredibly loud. Wow. Man, I thought I might've hit him, but I did not. He was right there. One shell left, y'all. Oh. Man. That is so hard. Woo, I should have wore your hearing, a little, little hearing protection today. Little, 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 I can't. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna reload this guy. I just don't trust it. We're gonna go ahead and see. That's what I need to do is dry fire it a couple times. See, watch, it's like, okay, you just gotta kind of curl your finger in and she'll be good to go. Okay, guys, last shell that I have today. We are ready to go. Come on, smash the old thumbs up. Let's get this video over a thousand likes. It's been forever, y'all. These look good, these look good. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, dude. This way, this way. Over here, over here. Come on, single right here. Oh, that was it. He was literally right freaking there. That's the best shot I could have had. He gave it all the way to me. That bird was legitimately six yards away from my face. The trigger absolutely sucks on this thing. Did you see me jerk it? like jerked the whole gun, it still didn't fire, then pulled it harder. God, if it would actually fire when I squeeze it, dude. I feel like I could have a couple down. Oh well, that was a ton of fun. <laughs> Look at these. 
Look at these, a little practice aiming. They are going to decoy all the way in there. I do not have a shell, look. Oh, they're decoying so well today. Well, better unload the old girl here. Dad gum. Gave her my best effort, you know. Going to get some more shells here tonight. Might come back tomorrow and give it a give it another go. Five shells, that's all we had. Boom. Alrighty, as you can tell, I do a lot of patterning back here. If you haven't watched the silencer videos, this is where I pa patterned the old silencer, the suppressor. But we're gonna do the same thing before we go back to the field here in a minute with this bad boy. So, let's give her a go. Load her up. We're gonna do double. One and two push them in there maybe all the way there we go bam okay now let's see what happens here now test number one now, this is going to be about a 10 yard i'm guessing we'll step it out oh my goodness okay i don't know where i hit <laughs> oh boy <laughs> look one two three four five five that's the issue give her one more go here so that was the bottom barrel this is the top barrel 10 yards okay that is so loud okay that one was much better much better. Okay, now we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, maybe. So, not good. Not good at all. That's what I was worried about. This thing does not pattern at all. Okay, why not, right? So, test number two. We are going to try to... Throw a clay pigeon and break it in the air. Wish me luck. Wish me luck. If we break this, we're taking it back out today and trying to shoot a pigeon. But if I can't break this out of the air, we better just hang it up, right? Here we go. Nothing. It did not break. Try it again. And I'm sure it's pretty hard to hit the darn thing, so... It is so hard aiming with this. Here we go. Did not hit it. <laughs> All right, I'm not giving up yet. I really want this to work. I just think I'm going to have to go buy a judge. If you all know what a judge is or a contender, that's what we're going to have to go to because this literally has no barrel, so no pattern. Here we go. didn't hit it that's the problem y'all that is the issue in fact so this might be the last try here god it's so hard to aim i need to practice man tough yeah nothing's happening all righty then i'm gonna shoot this one just to try to see what the pattern looks like again Man, I wish this would work, but it just doesn't have a long enough barrel, you know? It really don't. All right, one shell on the bottom. Give her a whirl. I'm gonna crouch down, see where I can hit this bad boy. All right again, bottom barrel, top barrel, something. Gosh, that thing is gnarly, it kicks so bad. So, I was squatting right here. Here's my foot tracks. This is one, two, three, four, five yards. At five yards, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 at five yards. <laughs> I'm guessing in these four 10 shells, there's probably, there's seven and a half shot. I don't know. There's probably a hundred pellets in there, 90, I don't know, 80, something like that. That's not a good ratio at all. Not a good ratio at all. 
I don't know. Maybe we could do some... Really, pigeon hunting is the only legal thing to do with that little handgun. That's the thing. I wouldn't think it would be legal to, obviously, turkey hunt, squirrel hunt, rabbit hunt. And I don't think there's any way you're going to hit a running rabbit on the ground with that thing. Five yards. Not good results. So... I think it's time to hang it up for now. If I get any other ideas with it, I'll do it. But this is what I'm thinking. Should we either, you guys gotta drop a comment down there right now. Should we? Should I go and do another silencer video? If so, what should I do? I only This only fits the 12 gauge, number one. Or, it's been a while, should I go out with the 410 pump with the shot cam? It's been a while, tell me. You tell me down below, please. I would love your guys' uh, input, and uh, I appreciate you all being here from the bottom of my heart. But the old lodge behind me, yes, I do have availability for this upcoming waterfowl season. Uh, lots of avail availability. Good dates in November available. Some in December, January, February, great dates there as well. If you're interested in coming here, hunting with me in central Kansas, all you gotta do, go down in the description below. The Sandhill Flyway link will be there. You fill out the booking form and I will be reaching out to you. Please, 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 serious inquiries only. Please, uh, just to save my time. Uh, I love you guys reaching out and I love communicating with y'all and I love hosting you all here. Uh, biggest question is, what's the minimum amount of guys that I can bring? Two, two minimum up to however many you want if there is enough availability on the date that you wanna be here. So, if you've never been on a guided hunt and you're a subscriber of this channel, I would say, number one, you will not be let down. I've got this thing ironed out, figured out, all the bugs figured out, and uh, we provide one heck of a vacation for you all. And it's something that I am very proud of. So thank you all for being here. Subscribe if you haven't. Hit that little notification button down there. There's a bunch of you that haven't hit that. I'm gonna keep hitting these videos hard, doing awesome. I'm, I think I'm gonna go do a Walmart challenge today. I really do think so. But thank you all for being here. Until next time. I've been getting laid back, baby, you should know that I don't need your criticism, pessimism I've been keeping